Therapists and their patients are dealing with a nationwide shortage of Adderall, one of the best known treatments for ADHD. According to national data, Adderall prescriptions for adults jumped 15% from 2020 to 2021. Some experts blame the shortage on the explosion of online mental health providers that diagnose cases and prescribe a lot of medication. One of those online platforms, Cerebral, has been the focus of an ongoing CBS News investigation, and earlier this year, it was a subject of a Justice Department probe. Our consumer investigative correspondent, Anna Werner, is here with the latest. Good morning, Anna. How are you doing? Good morning, Nate. Doing very well. You know, after our last story, we heard from a mother in the state of Washington who wanted us to look into the story of what happened to her son after he went to Cerebral seeking Adderall and questions as to whether online mental health care really delivers on its promises. I learned the reasons behind habits I've had my whole life. If you spent any time on TikTok over the pandemic, you probably came across ads like these. I had no idea this was caused by undiagnosed ADHD. Mental health companies offering fast, affordable treatment for ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, completely online. One of the biggest companies is called Cerebral. Cerebral provides a discreet, judgment-free way to be screened for ADHD. Often, that treatment came with a prescription for a frequently used medication, Adderall, a controlled substance tightly regulated by the Drug Enforcement Administration because it carries a high potential for abuse. Adderall is an amphetamine. It's a highly addictive drug. Dr. Andrew Kolodny is a prescribing expert. These are dangerous drugs that are controlled for a good reason. Prior to the pandemic, a law called the Ryan Hate Act required medical professionals to see patients in person before prescribing any controlled substance. But the law was temporarily lifted due to the pandemic, meaning those drugs can now be prescribed through online appointments. And online companies, including Cerebral, have urged the government to drop that in-person visit requirement permanently, something Dr. Kolodny sees as risky. Without the requirement for a face-to-face -face visit, you can see businesses take advantage of the ease in which these drugs can be prescribed. The potential for abuse is just too high if it's just online. That's correct. I come here daily. Kelly Rasmussen of Tacoma, Washington, says she's seen that firsthand. Her 21-year-old son, Elijah Hansen, was prescribed Adderall by Cerebral. When did you first find out that he had gone to Cerebral? I did not even know he went to Cerebral until after I found a pill bottle. Elijah had struggled with mental health issues for years, for which he was taking prescription medication. But his younger brother Ethan says in the past, he and Elijah had also abused Adderall. And this year, Ethan says, Elijah told him he'd found a way of getting more Adderall through Cerebral. He lied and said he had ADHD. Even though medical records show Elijah had never previously been diagnosed with ADHD, cerebral records show he claimed to one of their prescribers in February that he wanted help for that disorder. That prescriber declined to give him a stimulant, deeming him a risk to prescribe a controlled substance. So he tried again in April. This time, a different cerebral prescriber gave him the Adderall. Your brother said that he lied right. and told them that he had something else, ADHD. ADHD, yeah. And to get the Adderall. Get the Adderall, right. In an interview this June, Cerebral CEO Dr. David Moe defended the company's prescribing practices. We have really, really good clinical outcomes when it comes to depression and anxiety and PTSD and ADHD and even serious mental illnesses such as bipolar disorder. But in this letter last month obtained by CBS News, Moe's predecessor, Cerebral founder Kyle Robertson, removed by Cerebral's board earlier this year, claims some of the company's leading investors pushed for increased prescriptions for drugs like Adderall. He says one board member told him, the easier you make it for people to get stimulants, the better for the business and its customers. The company told us Robertson's allegations are categorically untrue. As for Elijah Hansen, records show his family doctor continued his Adderall prescription, relying on the ADHD diagnosis made by Cerebral. You can definitely tell he was taking way too much, and he wasn't in his right mind at all. On June 25th, his mother returned home from an errand to an inconceivable sight, Elijah lying dead on the kitchen floor. He'd found a gun kept in the house and recorded himself playing Russian roulette. I came home and he was gone. I can't imagine what that was like. Yeah, every day is a struggle. I'm angry that this online platform just 
thinks that handing out these medications to people is okay, because it's not. Now, if you or someone you know is seeking mental health resources, you can call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-6264 or, in a crisis, text HELPLINE to 62640. Now, Cerebral told us it cannot comment on specific case, uh, patients' cases. In a statement, it told us it has robust systems to detect and intervene when it suspects drug-seeking behavior. The company also says it has since stopped prescribing controlled substances and, to date, has not been accused by regulators of any wrongdoing or violation of law. I'm feeling but I'll that bet, they stopped. Yeah. I'll bet that mother would beg to differ. I, I'm with you, Anne. I can't imagine what that was like. It's bad enough to find your son dead. Dead, but then to know that he recorded it too. Yeah. Why does she believe that Adderall played a role here? He, he and uh, she and the brother uh, and the family members were telling me that um, it was clear that he was taking taking too much, that he was um, losing weight, he was getting very skinny, lost like 20 pounds, mm. and his behavior changed. He was isolating himself, mm. and um, and they also think that he might have been seeking a thrill. It's not clear whether he meant to. Uh, to um, die by suicide. Mm. They think that he may have been, you know, sort of amped up. Looking for a And rush. looking for a rush. Yeah. And this is why he engaged, you know, videotaped himself in, in a oh. very, very, very risky behavior. Mm. So a lot of questions there in terms yeah. of the death. Um, and I don't think she's ever going to know the answers, yeah. no. which wow. is hard. Uh, and very another painful. great investigation, very powerful stuff. We